Chris, your boy Malachi, aka Miley Fresh, aka Miley Fresh of them all, aka Mr. Story Lane. That's what we, we Story Lanes today. And I'm here with the, hold on, hold on, with the, with the Miley Fresh cut. It's cut like a whole 30 minutes old. This is as Miley Fresh as it gets. So I'm here to talk to y'all about a very interesting topic close to my heart. I've always thought about this topic as a kid before, well, long before vlogging. What if this Christian rapper, what if this rapper did Christian rap? What if that rapper did Christian rap? What if Beyonce sang gospel? What if Jay-Z was a Christian rapper? Just how would this all sound? Well, today I come up with the oh so excruciatingly detailed list on the top seven most interesting Christian rappers. The seven most interesting rappers that, how should we title this kids? The top seven most interesting conversion to Christian rap, secular rap rappers that there can be. There you go, that's gonna be the name of the title right there. So, if for this list, I've, oh my God, this list has been changed. I've changed this list every day up until today. I finally got a list. So you know how I get down, we gotta have a basis. Well, this list can't just all be about talent, because if that was the case, we'll just have Jay-Z, Eminem, Tupac, the most interesting Christian rappers. No, we gotta have background. I wanna hear some very anti-Christian lyrics. That would make it, it would be so much more interesting if an anti-Christian rapper became a Christian rapper. Yes, they also have to be talented. Talent is very important because there's some anti-Christian rappers who are just trash, like uh, Kid Boo. He had a video where there's a bunch of sixes in his video, called himself a demon. What rapper doesn't call himself a demon nowadays? I guess that's supposed to be a good, a good thing. Ooh, he's a demon. <laughs> but he calls himself a demon and Kid Boo a demon. And he had sixes in his videos. We got rappers like Lil Peep, I think that's the one who died, has six all tatted all over him. So yeah, we gotta, we gotta have talented rappers who have anti-Christian lyrics. So talented, actually talented, make good music, actually has anti-Christian lyrics, and would make a really heck of a turnaround story. You feel me? Like, man, this is the lifestyle they live, but this would be really great if they were Christian. All is turned around. So, we're gonna start with some honorable mentions. We got Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne will make a great Christian rapper because of his song he had. He has a, he's very spiritual. I mean, I, he identifies as a Christian. But I speak the truth, but I guess that's a foreign language to y'all. But you know, who in, who in the rap game can be taken seriously as a Christian they don't bear the fruit in their music? Message! But Lil Wayne claims Christianity if you Google his religion. He's most not a religion, it's a faith fault, but. Message! And that's also what's gonna go into this stuff. You feel me? Like how these rappers identify religiously. Like you think I think Kevin Gates would make a great oh he would make a great I didn't put him in this list, but he would make a great Christian rapper just because I guess he was raised in Muslim and he currently claims that set. So imagine that. So that's stuff like that is gonna factor in. Alright, Kevin Gates, Muslim that'd be very interesting. Lil Wayne, terrible lyrics as far as that song. He has this line in church. She gets on her knees, and then there was a blessings involved. I can't really divulge the, this, the, uh, the details of the lyrics on this Christian page. It's a bunch of honorable mentions, but we want to keep these videos short because your attention span probably has gone already. So we're gonna get right into the list at the number seven. <laughs> Chance the rapper. Now we all know Malachi, but you said they gotta have an interesting background. Chance is actually a Christian and he was raised Christian. Yes, he's a Christian. And that's why he should be doing Christian rap. This will make an interesting turnaround story. He gotta pull a full Kanye. I don't care what you say about Kanye. The man actually pulled a full 180. He's still, he's doing strictly Christian music. Chance is still in the world doing, I'm, this is not me judging. These are actual facts. He is still doing secular music for secular audiences, which is cool. You feel me? But I just wanna see him do a full 180. I wanna see him doing songs with KB and AHA and 1KB. I wanna see Chance pull a full 180 and join CHH as a whole. Just truly give his music to Christ as he is allegedly giving his life to Christ. That's what I wanna see. Now we're gonna make these quick. Number six. Oh man, you cannot. I feel like it's hard. I couldn't choose one on number six, so we're gonna just do the whole group of them. Earl on the beat. Regardless, he wanna feel like Megan is dead and don't want your I want his dad. I know how to go and get a bad zona. I know how to get a bit bad zona. I call this one Cardi B and Friends. Women have very, very, very too much influence on the younger generation of women. So imagine if Cardi, who actually identifies as Catholic, and uh Megan Stay, who I think identifies as a Christian, fact check. Imagine if these women actually start promoting positivity and Christianity in their lyrics. Just imagine if they was on some Jackie Hill Perry stuff. That would be just awesome. Hold on, what's Megan Stallion's song? Hot Girl Summer? Well, we can do a hot girl offering. Yeah, how about that? No. 
Okay, so I think all these people, if all these female Christian, if all these female secular rappers would just turn over to Christianity, give their life to Christ, they'd make the best Christian rappers, okay? Even Nicki did a song with Tasha Cobbs Leonard, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna get into number five. We're in the top five already. I play no games with this. Then we're gonna reach from the bottom. This started from the bottom. Now wait. Rilla in the coop, finna pull up in the zoo. I'm like cheap, keep me Rafiki. Who been lying, king to you? Ho, 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 ho is very talented. Has very, very, very influential music. However, he ain't Christian. I remember he said in this song that he ain't Christian basically because he saw his parents. He grew up. He grew up under Christian leader, bad Christian leadership with his parents. His mom or his dad, or his dad was like a preacher and he saw his dad not living right at home. Shout out to my parents. I really always say that my Christianity is still in me because I saw people actually live it out. You feel me? They was walking like they talking behind the scenes, in front of the scenes. So that's why, you know, Christ showed itself real to me through my parents. And that's why it's so important. We have great leadership. We follow great leadership. We follow great shepherds. Jay-Z was terribly shirked, terribly, terribly shepherded. And that's why he's not a Christian. And I just think that would be awesome if Hove served Jehovah. <laughs> and then that would trickle down to hopefully Beyonce and then bam, we got the power Christian couple. Mike Todd and his, woman, his girl ain't gonna have no chance if Jay-Z and Beyonce become Christian. They gonna be the new power couple. But I would love to see Jay-Z. Just imagine Jay-Z and Lecrae on the... That would be a heck of a conversion. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna make this fast once again. We're gonna skip into number four on the... So, Tyler Creator, as a kid, I hated him because he was so anti-Christian. He used to rock the upside down crosses on his forehead, and he had the infamous line, I won't even say it, but I'll play it. Jesus called, he said he's sick of the dances, I told him to quit. Bruh. And it says in the hotline. See, that bull crap right there. That, if imagine, And he's already, and he know, he stepped back from all the blasphemous disrespect of Jesus, praise God. But he's still, you know, secular rapper nonetheless. Still identifies as bisexual, or I think he's gay or bisexual, whatever. I don't, I'm not judging, I'm just stating the fact that he is, that I came out as gay or bisexual. So imagine that dude giving his life to Christ, getting back on the straight and narrow of sexuality, apologizing for that disrespectful line. He's probably had others. I don't listen to him enough to know if he's had anything else. That was the big one. So Tyler, the creator, came to Christ. Tyler, servant, the creator. That's what I'm talking about. Now, once again, let's make this quick. We're going to get to number three. This will be a heck of a pick. Watch this. I'm beginning to feel like a rap god, rap god. All my people from the front to the back, not back, not. I don't listen to, you see, he's probably had a lot of blasphemous lyrics. I ain't heard too many. First of all, he calls himself the rap god. Kind of blasphemous, there's only one guy, but I'm gonna give him that one. But it's just like, it's not just about if he's been blasphemous or not. His, all his lyrics, he's like one of the more vulgar rappers. As talented as he is, he's super vulgar. Got this song called Insane. I think Insane was the first full and length Eminem song I've ever heard. And that was in 2009. My cousin came up to me and said, Hey, Malachi, listen to this. The start of the lyrics and saying goes, I was born with a yep yeah, in the head. My stepfather's Insane was the first song I heard by Eminem. I'm like, What the heck is this? This dude is mad vulgar. Imagine him doing a 180 for Jesus. It's Eminem rap for the Lord, not the rap guy, but serving the guy. <laughs> and then the trickle down effect. MGK gonna get saved, because MGK do whatever Eminem do. MGK like worship the ground and then walk on. But if Eminem worships the ground and Jesus walk on, that's gonna be a trickle down effect to MGK and they both gone. You feel me? That'd be so awesome. We're gonna get into number two. This is, a, I just remembered this rapper. I had a different number two. Eminem was initially number two. So I remember this disgustingly blasphemous, basically atheist, devil worshiping, super talented, itty bitty rapper, also known as. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. Push me to the edge. See this song right here. I can't stand how much I actually like this song. How catchy it is. It's just the beat. But imagine Uzi giving us like the Christ. I remember this video. The video I remember is what made me remember to put him in this list. I immediately skyrocketed him to number two. Super talented. Super anti-Christian. And he has that song. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. That's not really saying, that's not really an atheist or anti-Christ. However, did you see the video? Everybody was watching that video and saying they gotta put holy water in their eyes after that video. That was some, that was some stuff. And then the demonic chanting afterwards, 
he idolizes Marilyn Manson. Like, what else? What else do you really need? That's just that ain't that ain't it for me, man. What if we need Lil Uzi to come around and say, "Push me to the edge, Jesus is not dead." Push me to the edge, Jesus is not dead. And now for the big one, number one, he's very talented. He's very masculine. He's very accurate. He's really catastrophic. Bruh. This most atheist rapper rapping right now, super talented, and that's what he get not being that real mainstream right now. He got people way less talented than him, get more love than him. He's too talented actually. And this is why his ill mind gets never lost. I'm fucking done! I'm Bruh. done! This is my f life and I'm living it! I'm having fun! The dude did a whole diss track to God. That is just like, there's probably been other rappers who've done this. The, I always face, I always tell y'all the disclaimer about my list. I only make lists about people who I'm hip to. I know there's probably other rappers who've made worse music, but if I ain't hip to them, they probably ain't that talented, or I just don't listen to enough secular music, which is good. I don't need to be listening to all that anyway. But when I heard this bullcrap song, it's, it's how he feels, man. Everybody is entitled to their doubts. Even some of the most awesome pastors probably got their doubts. God wants you to question him. God wants to answer your questions. But, Dad, you got to put a diss track on? Like, I would love to see the Lord respond back. You feel me? Like, yeah, you was talking all that hot seer. Now I'm about to hop sin to this cross with the sins. How would God respond to a diss track? Hot sin needs to be a Christian. Hot sin needs to have a real come to Christ moment. Hot sin needs to get on his knees and say, I'm sorry, Lord. I'm deleting this track. I'm serving you. I'm jumping on the song with KB and Shalane and right now. His name's gonna be Hop Sin to a Church. <laughs> this is my list. Why is it so dark? This is my list of top seven secular artists that will make the most interesting Christian hip hop artists. Probably do a part two. I'm done doing part two on videos that don't even get watched. So if this one gets a lot of traction, I'm definitely gonna get some more rappers. Definitely gonna mention the aforementioned rappers in the beginning for the honorable mentions. But these seven, all talented, all not Christian, will make the, except chats, will all make the greatest Christian rappers, all right? It's your boy Miley Fresh, AKA Mr. Story Lanes, and I'm out.